WEBC 560 AM. And with the pattern that they are in, look at this swath of moisture moving on up. These are called monsoon rains. It's induced partially by the heating out in the west. It helps to pull the moisture in off the ocean and the Gulf of Mexico. And with more storms in that area, there are going to be more problems reported over the next couple of days. For us, it's almost embarrassing. We have nothing to complain about at all. High temperature 71 degrees, low of 50. There you normal 77 and 56, a quick tidbit. Normal temperature, this is the first day of the summer where the average high begins to decrease. And it's not going to stop until the middle part of January. Records of 96 back in 1916. But here's another something for you. This was contributed by Lauren Coonley, our weather watcher out in Hermantown. On this date, they set the all-time record high for the state of Minnesota in 1917. Beardsley, 114 and a half degrees makes that 71 that we have seem very nice. A dew point of 42 is even better. We want to see a dew point at 55 or lower for comfort, so we are in really good shape. Southeasterly winds at 8. Jason was saying that Lake Superior is nice and toasty. Well, that's the reason why. When we have offshore winds, what it does is it blows on the surface water and pushes it on off. All the warm stuff rises to the, st uh, rises to the top takes the warm stuff off to Michigan. But when winds are in the east, it brings the warm weather, or warm water rather, down the lake. So our surface water is nice and warm when we have an easterly wind. So that's why things are comfortable. Temperature, 72 degrees around Herbster. Ruth O'Brien thinks that's just fine. Also 72 in Poplar for Adrian Apple, 72 in Iron River, 72 in the Four Corners area, uh, 72 in Chafee, 72 in Gordon, very common number. And that's considered room temperature, so everybody's kicking back. The only place that's a little toasty is Ely, 80 degrees. The reason why their temperature is so warm is because they've had very little rain since July 4th. When it gets dry, the temperatures do tend to climb up a bit more. To the south, 70s, 80s, and 90s lined up okay. I normally like to see the 70s here, 80s, then 90s. It means the atmosphere is undergoing some changes, but they will be occurring slowly. The cool jet stream is marooned way up in northern Canada. That is not going to be a big player. Down to the south, though, this is a subtropical jet that is going to be oozing in our general direction. Once it passes over the region, it's going to allow some warm weather to move on in, but it will take some time. Take a look, high pressure in action. Coming on down from Canada, watch how the heat and humidity runs into it, tries to move north, then squash gets hit, shot out both sides. It cannot make it through the high pressure. Now eventually, this will move on off to the east and some of the heat and humidity will be coming our way. Across the Dakotas, it's been a stormy one, especially across South Dakota. To the south, large showers and thunderstorms across Texas and Oklahoma, typical for this time of the year. For us, nearby radars are all quiet, except right along I-90, but those rain showers should stay there with the air so dry over us. So for tonight, our comforting high pressure will slowly be moving on off to the east. Once that happens, well, then we will start to see the storm system making some progress. And by Thursday afternoon, lo and behold, some showers and storms might be on the map. Here's a forecast for the overnight hours. Somewhat chilly. 38 degrees up in Palo this morning, but most locations upper 40s to around 50. Then for tomorrow, a bit warmer. Temperature 75 to 80 degrees, but the humidity will still be low. And as we look on ahead to Thursday, now we run the risk of evening storms. So farmers, you want your hay in the barn or at least bailed up by Thursday afternoon. The five-day forecast will leave those showers and storms in there mm. right through the weekend. But nobody's going to be mowing tonight. No. No, you, you're, <laughs> hopefully your hay is down, it's drying, and uh, get it picked up by early Thursday and we're all in good shape. All right. Thanks, Great. George. Yep. Well, there's a new report that gives state gambling treatment programs a thumbs up. An independent firm in Massachusetts studied six different programs in Minnesota, including Gamblers Intervention Services in Duluth. The Duluth program serves about 400 people each year. Well, it changes lives, and I think it's the process and, and the groups and the people getting together, and certainly Gamblers Anonymous, which is a 12-step self-help program, helps people to um, get together and talk about their problems and, and really make a different life for themselves. Coordinators say despite the positive news in the study, more people see gambling treatment programs each year. Well, next in sports, the Brewers won their sixth straight game this afternoon. And a Packers running back spent his day recovering from surgery today. Tom Hansen will have details when we come back. Planning your day? Call the Channel 6 Weather Center Forecast Hotline at 727-0000. Presented by Fond du Luth Casino, Black Bear Casino and Hotel, and Channel 6. 
When I need to have my vehicle serviced, I don't want a lot of fast talk or surprises when I get my bill. What I want is dependable work done by experienced professionals, and that's why I choose Capus Erickson. Capus Erickson Service Center is available to everyone, whether you've purchased your vehicle there or not. Their staff is always friendly and knowledgeable. Plus, they know how important it is to communicate with you so you get the best possible service available. Capus Erickson and Superior, their personal touch is what makes the difference. Look into summer savings at Menards. Crestwood premium double hung windows feature maintenance free vinyl exterior and beautiful wood interior in five sizes starting at $139. Secure your home with wiser locks. Combination deadbolt entry lock sets are $19.95. Keyless entry deadbolts $69.96. It's Menard Days. Don't pay for qualifying purchases till next year on your big car. Save big money at Menards. You're watching the Channel 6 6 o'clock news, Greater Minnesota's best newscast for an unprecedented fourth year in a row. Closed captioning provided by Schneiderman's. It's Slumberland's huge 30th anniversary sale. Get this five-piece room group for the unheard of price of just $5.99 for all five pieces. Only at Slumberland's 30th anniversary sale. Stop what you're doing and get to Egebrecht Chevrolet for 2.9% financing on most new 97 Chevrolets and Geos. That's right, 2.9% financing for 48 months. On new 97 Luminas, get 2.9% financing plus a $500 rebate. 32 to choose from starting at only $247 a month. Or new 97 S10 pickups, get 2.9% financing and a $250 rebate. 12 on the lot from only $156 a month. Big value plus big rebate. At Egebrecht Chevrolet, where you the customer are always number one. NBC has been nominated for 33 awards by the viewers for quality television. That's more nominations than all the other networks combined. You can do anything. From comedy to drama, this summer, the quality shows on NBC. I'm Tom Hansen. For the past 12 years, I've covered sports in the Northland. Basically, I've got the best job in town. My office, it's on the field. The rink, the court, and sometimes the parking lot. Along with Crunch. My coworkers, well, they could be just about anyone and some of the biggest names in sports. For the scores, the players, the teams you want to see, for me, it's just another day at the office. If the Packers are to repeat as Super Bowl champions, you'll have to do it without fullback Edgar Bennett. Packers coach Mike Holmgren says Achilles tendon surgery this morning for the running back was a success. Yet he offers no timetable for his return. Bennett was injured in Saturday's preseason game against the Miami Dolphins. He's expected to miss the entire season. Bennett should be in a cast for about two to six weeks. Doctors say the fullback could be at full strength in about six months. Green Bay plays New England Thursday night in their next exhibition game. While the Packers are prepping for the Patriots, the Vikings had the Kansas City Chiefs on their minds today. The Vikings and Chiefs scrimmage in River Falls, Wisconsin. Minnesota will take on the St. Louis Rams Saturday night at the Metrodome. The Vikings defense got a boost when linebacker Ed McDaniel was activated from the physically unable to perform list. Coach Dennis Green said running back Robert Smith will be activated off that same list tomorrow, but neither Smith nor McDaniel will play in Saturday's game. Safety Orlando Thomas will be activated from the list Monday, giving the Vikings their first full squad practices. Smith and Thomas aren't expected to see game action until late in the preseason. For the second day in a row, the Brewers are playing a doubleheader. Today it was a daytime, nighttime twin bill. Game one ended hours ago. Game two will start at 7 o'clock tonight. The Brewers, one of the hottest teams in the majors, winning six straight after today's performance. Game one starter Jose Mercedes with a strikeout here against the Blue Jays. Then in the fifth inning, the Brewers' Gerald Williams with a home run, a two-run blast giving the Brewers a 2-0 lead. Out to the left field bleachers, his 10th of the year. They hold on to win 2 0. Mike Fetters with the save. That's his fourth of the season. Now, while the Brewers are winning, the Twins are stumbling. Minnesota dropped two to Kansas City last night. That's four straight losses for the Twins. Tonight, Latroy Hawkins goes for TK. Betty Shear collected her $10,000 from the Dukes last night. Earlier this month, when Jason Shanahan hit a grand slam, she became an instant winner. She says she'll spend the money on her kids, then buy something for herself. She doesn't know what yet. The grand slam took her by surprise. Everybody else was on the plate that when he stepped up, I just thought, you know, it's not going to happen. So I, I just, you know, it's one of those things. But after he did, then, then oh, oh, God, it was exciting. 
Now the Dukes lost last night's game 4-2. The game featured two former big league pitchers. Lee Guterman got his first Northern League win in his Sioux Falls uniform. He's now 1-4. And, and former Pittsburgh Pirate Randy Tomlin, the loss, he's 3-8. Two teams play again tonight with the city of superior employees getting two for one on tickets tonight. The Duluth LPGA Junior Golf Program, now in its third year, it's helping young girls not only on the course, but off it as well by teaching lifelong skills. Self-esteem is a key thing in this program, helping the girls feel good about themselves, feeling confident about themselves, seeing their own improvement in something. Um, there's lots of encouragement. One of the letters I loved that was used for a scholarship application, uh, because we do get scholarship applications for the girls as well, uh, was um, that someday she'd really like to make golf her career. But if that didn't happen, when she was president of her own company, then she knew it was important for her to be able to play golf with her clients. Wow. Now, I mean, this is coming from a 12-year-old. Fantastic program. And finally, Dave and Michelle, check this out. The Brewers turning the triple play last night. Jeff Cirillo at third to Mark Loretta at second to Dave Nielsen at first. The Blue Jays' Alex Gonzalez with the triple play victim. It was the Brewers' first triple play since 1979. I tell you, they're playing very well, especially with defense like that. You need a rocket arm for that. <laughs> and lucky that it's hit right at the base, too. Right. You bet. Right. Thanks, Tom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to be right back, so don't go away. If that is not Cinderella, then what is? It's not a fairy tale, it's real life. You lasted a lot longer at the palace than I would have. You are topless. I cringe with embarrassment. What did the queen say? I loved him to bits. Mm -hmm. I still do. Did you know how miserable she was? The royal rebel, Fergie. Let them hear my side of the story. The Duchess of York, next Oprah. Tomorrow on Channel 6. It's our annual storage lot liquidation sale right here at North Star Ford. And folks, if you want to save money on a brand new Ranger pickup, how about $89.90 for a new 97 Ranger? That's just one of over 50 Rangers marked down to move out during this incredible sale. Don't miss it, only at North Star Ford. If you like karaoke and love Bayfront, come on down to the park on August 1st to hear a summer concert with a twist. The Bayfront Karaoke Showcase is back again. Hear the area's best karaoke singers perform their favorite hits. See these singers get their chance to perform live on the big stage. The concert gets underway at 6, but the real fun starts at 4. And as always, admission is free. Don't forget that WLSSD reminds you to recycle your Coke bottles at this event. Think before you throw. See your friends and family perform live on a Bayfront. The Karaoke Showcase is brought to you by these great sponsors. Better watch. 45,000 to 51,000. Better prizes. Maybe double. Please, Forrest Gump. New categories. Complicated. Correct. What is I want to rock and roll all night? Better set. New attitude. How about it? Up for a little mind game? Weekdays on Channel 6. This summer, getting away from it all has never been easier. Cool off with one hot couple. No phones, no TV, just you and paradise. What, are they kidding? Make it a summer you'll never forget. Mad about you. Weeknights on Channel 6. Have a California getaway? Then tune in as contestants from coast to coast play for some fun in the sun on Wheel of Fortune's California Dreaming Week. Tonight on Channel 6. Now let's take a look at our summertime forecast with George. If this is summer, I'm happy. Ah, you bet. The temperature's out there, about 70 degrees. It's going to be a fantastic evening. Go out there, throw a shrimp on the Barbie. I never understood that. Why not throw a shrimp <laughs> on Ken? But anyway, tonight, 40s to around 50. Australian. I don't know where whole Barbie came from. I guess it's barbecue. Anyway, for tomorrow, a bit warmer temperatures, 75 to 80 degrees. My co-workers have disavowed all knowledge of me. I am don't friendless. know you. <laughs> Thanks, George. And thank you for tolerating us tonight. We hope to see you back here for Top Line News at 10. Men's wardrobe provided by Mainstream Fashions for Men, downtown Duluth. Relive Paul and Jamie's big moment. He's going to ask you to marry him tonight. Oh, God! Will he pop the question? 
my whole life. Okay. Tonight on Channel 6. You're tired of movies. You're through being mauled. You need something to make your weekends come alive. Look no further than the Superior Speedway. Every Friday is filled with hot racing action for everyone in the family. Hot laps start spinning at 7 p.m. and the big races hit the track at 7.30. Families can pick up special discount coupons at bumper to bumper stores. Catch the high octane excitement on the fastest track in the area. Catch the Superior Speedway, located at the head of the Lakes Fairgrounds in Superior. If you've been postponing the purchase of a brand new truck, the Dodge Big Summer Clearance plays right into your hands. You see, it's even bigger than you might think. With up to $13.50 off on a Dodge Dakota, or up to $11.85 in package value discounts on a Dodge Ram. So hurry to the Dodge Big Summer Clearance. Because if you haven't figured it out already, it's big. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. It began with a terrifying vision. No! Don't! Worf? That leads Troy into a forbidden affair. Why didn't we do this a long time ago? But behind the romance... I will meet you in your quarters later. ...lies a telepathic nightmare. I know what I have to do. ...that pushes her to the darkest edge of destruction. Stop it! Next time on Star Trek The Next Generation. Tonight on Channel 6. Saturday on the Channel 6, 6 o'clock news, summertime. It's the best time to find some of the hottest sports cars on the roads of the Northland. Come along for the ride as Maureen Tallarico and Dave Anderson test drive a few of these incredible driving machines. Watch Hot Cars Saturday, only on the Channel 6, 6 o'clock news. Dateline Tuesday is...